Hey everyone, this is Raja from Charger Games and welcome back to another video. Now I have made a lot of videos about building Android games but in this video I'm gonna show you how to make a simple Android game in just 15 minutes. So I hope you are excited and let's get started. Alright, so let's start building the game. I'm gonna click on new on Unity Hub to create a new project. I'm gonna click on 2D and I'm gonna simply name it let's say Food Eater tutorial and then click on create to create a new project and now unity will create a new project for us okay so here i have created a new unity 2d project and our project has been opened i'm gonna go to file build settings and click on android and then click on switch platform so now as you can see after some time our project has been transferred to android and now we're gonna start building the game so first of all from the resolution we're gonna go ahead and select this 1920 by 1080 portrait for our game then i'm gonna go to main camera go to the background click on solid color make sure solid color is selected then go to the background color and select a dark gray like color something like this something close to this one all right then we're gonna go to our assets right click create 2d sprite square and then i'm gonna go ahead and right click create a sprite circle so now i'm gonna drag and drop the square here and i'm gonna go ahead and rename it to player then i'm gonna select the rect selection tool and go ahead and make the size much much smaller than how it is i think something like this should be okay a little bit longer on this side something like this then i'm gonna go ahead and change the color so select the player go to the sprite renderer color and i'm gonna change it to a color something like this all right now i'm gonna go ahead and select our circle and drag and drop it here i'm gonna make the size i'm gonna press shift and drag it to make the size much much smaller something like this all right then i'm gonna go to the color and change the color to a sky like color something like this then I'm gonna go here and rename it to let's say food then I'm gonna go to the tag click on add tag click on plus to create a new tag and name it food then I'm gonna select the food and click on this and select the food tag so now we have the food ready so for the food we're gonna select it we're gonna go to add component go to physics 2d and click on circle collider 2d to add a collider to it all right so now we have our food ready we're gonna go ahead and duplicate and spawn it all over the scene so duplicate right click and duplicate to spawn it duplicate then click on this and move it somewhere else anywhere you want to put it somewhere like this then again duplicate and put it somewhere like this then again press ctrl d to duplicate and position it somewhere on the bottom somewhere like this select this one position it somewhere like this and then again press ctrl d and position it somewhere let's say like this i don't have much time to design it correctly but you can take your time so here we have all our foods so now i'm going to go ahead and duplicate the last food and this time i'm going to rename it to danger then i'm going to go to the color and select a dark black color for it so it is our danger and I'm gonna go ahead and select on the danger and go to the tag click on add tag click on plus to create a new tag and I'm gonna tag it to danger then I'm gonna select the danger and select the danger tag from here so now we have our danger obstacle ready I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate again to position it somewhere else on our level then I'm gonna go ahead and right click and duplicate it again to position it somewhere else on our level something like this so now we have three danger elements if you want you can add a few more of this you can duplicate it and position it let's say somewhere like this so now we have the danger elements and the foods ready so now it's time to create our player and add scripts to that so i'm going to select our player go to add component physics 2d and i'm going to add a rigid body 2d to it so rigid body 2d i'm going to go ahead and make the gravity scale zero and the angular drag zero as well then i'm going to add component 
physics 2d and add a box collider 2d to it so let's go ahead and select the box collider 2d here it is and now we have a box collider to the player now i'm going to go ahead and create add com i'm going to create a new script so right click create a new c sharp script and i'm going to name this one player player then i'm going to select our player so drag and drop the script on our player here we go then double click to open it in visual studio so here our script has been opened in visual studio first of all here i'm going to create a new rigid body 2d variable rigid body 2d rb then i'm going to create the void awake function and inside that i'm going to say rb equals get component rigid body 2d all right so now we have the rigid body 2d now inside the fixed update function so we're going to create void fixed update and inside the fixed update function we're going to say rb.velocity equals uh, transform dot up multiplied by move speed and we have not created the move speed variable yet but we're going to write it here and now we're going to create a public float move speed variable like this and then we're going to create another variable public float rotate amount and another one Mm, another one we're going to create float root so this will be the rotate value all right okay so now inside the update we need to check whether we are clicking on the left or right on the screen and depending on that we need to rotate our player so first of all we're going to check if input dot get mouse button zero that means we are whether we are pressing on our screen or not and if you are pressing then we need to get the uh, position so we're going to save that uh, here so we're gonna say um, vector 3 mouse pose equals input camera dot main dot screen to world point input dot mouse position all right so now that we have got that we need to check if mouse pose is less than zero then we're gonna move to the left or rotate to the left else we need to rotate to the right all right so we need to say if mouse pose dot x is less than zero then we're going to rotate to the left else we're going to rotate to the right so if mouse pose dot x is less than zero then we're going to say rot equals to rotate amount else we're going to say rot equals minus rotate amount rotate amount all right so now at last we're gonna say transform dot rotate zero in the x zero in the y and in the z we're gonna say rot so this is the amount by which we're gonna rotate our player all right so this code is ready so let's check how it's working so let's go ahead and go back to unity so here we are back inside unity we're gonna give our rotation speed to let's say five and we're gonna move our move our speed to two and click on play and here is our player we're going to click here it's going to rotate on this direction we're going to click here it's going to rotate on that direction so uh let me first of all let me try to play it once again so here's our player and i'm going to click on this it's going to rotate on this direction i'm going to rotate click here it's going to rotate on that direction so our player is moving and it's rotating as well so this is ready this code is ready so our player is moving now we need to destroy these objects so let's go back to our scripts and here we're gonna detect collisions so we're gonna say void on collision enter 2d if collision dot game object dot tag equals food so if we are colliding with foods then we're gonna destroy the food destroy collision dot game object that means we are destroying the food and then if else if collision dot game object dot tag equals danger then we're gonna simply going to restart the level so we're gonna say scene manager scene manager dot load scene game so we're gonna reload the game scene and as you can see this has not been imported i can simply press alt enter to re-import it so now our scene management has been imported like this all right so when this happens we're going to simply destroy it and then when the 
uh, when we collide with the danger we're going to restart the level so here what you're going to do we're going to create another variable in score and then here we're gonna uh, when this happens we're gonna simply go ahead and make score plus plus and then we're gonna check if score is greater than equal to 5 then we're gonna print level complete complete all right so this code is almost ready so let's go back to unity to check how it's working so now I can click on play and you will see it's going I can click here to collect this and then I can rotate and come here and as you can see if I collide with these objects let's collide with these objects uh, we're gonna restart our level but currently it's not restarting because we have not added those things so we're gonna go to scene we're gonna rename our scene to game and reload and now if I click on play let's see how it's working so now I'm gonna go ahead and collide with these objects and as you can see game restarts every time I collide with these objects and every time I collide with these objects as you can see they get collided and our score will get incremented and when I actually collect all the objects our uh, console will print you win or level cleared in this case but currently we have only four objects here so level cleared will not be printed in this case so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select any of our foods and right click to duplicate it and position it somewhere like here so now it should print level clear whenever we uh, get all these objects so now what I can do is I can go ahead and create a new UI text element to show up here so I'm gonna name this one win text and here I'm gonna write level cleared then I'm gonna go to the text by double clicking it then I'm gonna go to here and click on reset to reset its position then I'm gonna double click to open it here then I'm gonna change its color to white then I'm gonna go ahead and click the rect selection tool and make it much much bigger then I'm gonna change its font size to bigger something like this then I'm gonna center it like this then I'm gonna make it something like this all right then we can simply say level cleared something like this that should show up whenever we finish the level okay so it should show up when we finish the level now we can go to our canvas and change it to screen space camera and we can drag our main camera right here all right so here we have our level select text we can double click to position it anywhere that we want all right so things are doing fine here we can also go to our canvas and go to scale with screen size and write 1920 by 1080 here so this is already looking good we can go ahead and change the font size a little more let's say bump it up like this so here we have bumped up our font size and made it somewhere like this something like this okay so this is ready now we need to disable it by default then we need to uh, go to our script and here we need to create a new public variable public game object win text all right and when the score is greater than five we're gonna say win text dot set active true so it should show the win text there so let's go back here and now whenever we collect all the objects our win text should show up here so last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select our player and add a go add a trail renderer to the player so that it looks good so we're gonna go to add component effects and we're gonna click on this uh, trail renderer right here so here we have a trail for the player we're gonna change the time from 5 to uh, 0 0.5 we're gonna set the width to from 0 0.5 to we're gonna click here and position it somewhere like this then we're gonna go to the color and we're gonna select this one and change the alpha to 0 change the ending alpha to 0 then we're gonna go to the materials and select the default sprites default material from here 
so now we can select the player and move it to see how it's looking and as you can see this is how it's looking if you want you can make the uh, size a little bit smaller something like this all right so something like this should work i think this is working right now so now what we can do is we can simply go ahead and click on play to see if everything is working so now our player is moving we can rotate our player by clicking here and it's it can collect the objects as you can see so what we have done is we have we need to actually select our player and here on the player script we need to actually drag and drop the win text object so we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop the win text object so now our game is ready to be played and we have finished it so now we can go to file build settings player settings and go to here and name the company i'm gonna name it charger games i'm gonna name it Furita tutorial as it is so let's leave it there now everything is ready now we can simply go ahead and click on build to build it i'm gonna save it as foodeater.apk and click on save to save the project or save the apk file so now as you can see the apk is here and we have finished building the game so it's complete so here as you can see the finished game is running on my mobile device and as you can see i can control the player by clicking on left and right on my mobile device and i can collect the objects and after collecting all the objects it says level finished and here i have changed the winning score to three to demonstrate it to you and when i collide with the black ones the game gets restarted so we have created a fully working game in just 15 minutes so congratulations for that now show you to your friends and family and enjoy thank you so much for watching this video i hope you really enjoyed watching this so if you if you want to learn more and build some more cool games and projects you can check out my complete game development courses all the links are given in the description so from there you can get a huge discount on all my courses so thanks for watching make sure to subscribe to the channel and i'm gonna see you later